Good morning. Sorry about that, guys. I started it. And it wouldn't. I'm. I'm. I'm not at home. I'm not at no. home. No. So, out in the woods. I'm out in the woods again. And, yeah, in a in a recliner. There you go. A recliner oh, yeah. rocker. That's um, right. But I tried to start it and didn't. It wouldn't come up, so I had to restart it. So sorry. I don't think they saw that, but you two saw that. We saw that. <laughs> we'll have to go back and see if we show up on the video. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday morning house party. Ooh. Everybody wearing their house coats? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> orange house coats. My orange. Everybody's here. Yeah. Did you guys, when you logged in this morning, did you see the note that said, be sure to talk to the people who are going to be watching the recorded vision of the Ooh. live cast? There yeah. was a little hint in the StreamYard thing that said, Talk to the people who are going to be watching the recorded. Hey, you people who are watching the recorded version. Hi there. We like you. Uh, yeah, it's cold everywhere. Everybody's talking about how cold it is. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian was the first one here. How we got here in genealogy, eh? <laughs> uh, Mary Sleppy. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Uh, DS. Uh, let's see. Chris Ferriello. He's talking about yeah. the... Uh, Profiles of the week we're going to be talking about. Oh, DS. yeah, he's excited about some of those. Hey, Sandy, you're probably my cousin. We don't even know yet. Oh. John Tyner. Hey, John Tyner. Hey. You know, John Tyner lives in <laughs> Ireland and he's in the Appalachian Project. Wow. Oh, how cool is that? Well, that's if you think cool. about the Appalachians, that's where all the Irish immigrants went and settled. Yeah. So yeah. it makes a lot of sense. And huzzah yeah. on John for yeah. being a part of a project that you wouldn't associate with somebody mm -hmm. who lived in Ireland. So thank right. you, John. That's right. very good. And Prop, Sandy was profile a member of the week, wasn't she? Yes, there was a video yesterday. It's an excellent interview. Yes. Congrats, you know Sandy. That's so cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's see. I'm missing people. Hey, Lisa, I'm not in Ottawa. Uh, <laughs> run by my house and kick my <laughs> children with butt or something for me while I'm gone. <laughs> uh, anyway, as is here, as Hillary's here. Anna's here, mm -hmm. Susan, Judy, GSL. I don't think <laughs> I can go deeper. Anyway, Tommy Buck is here from the Bayou State. Wow. Kathy Nava, Patricia Jackson, Karen Le Karen Le Lorenz, Kathy Nava. Eowyn Walker is here. No way. Our forest elf. Hey, the forest, the little tiny forest elf. She's tiny. She gets. She can get in anywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, hey, good morning. Uh, welcome to the live cast Saturday roundup or the Saturday house party, as we mm -hmm. were called recently. Um, yeah. And thank you for for upvoting the, the video and thank you for talking to us about uh, mistakes that we might be making, like the one I made this morning, Ooh, which is the question that? of the week. I got confused on that. Mm -hmm. uh, is it up? I need to do that. See, when you work on a laptop after working on a, there we go. There we go. So here's our question of the week. Uh, do you set genealogy goals? Uh, and that's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. Do you, are you organized enough that you can actually say, well, I need to do this research and this research and this research, and I'm going to be driving through such and such. So I should stop mm -hmm. at that courthouse on my way. I don't know. Uh, do you plan trips for genealogy? That could be a, another good question. Mm -hmm. So let's upvote that. Don't forget to upvote these great questions. Do you set a genealogy goal for a week? No, no weekly goals. This is from Beth Schmillen. Uh, No weekly goals, at least as I haven't set them yet. I only started in late January and have been somewhat overwhelmed by all there is to learn. Okay, question. Did you just start genealogy in January or you just started on a wiki tree? Because this is a question that's just that's bigger than wiki tree. It's mm -hmm. genealogy goals. So yeah. that's a good that's a good answer, though. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure we vote those up. Uh, but I can see the necessity of setting weekly goals to keep from jumping from profile to profile. Mm -hmm. I need to go back and improve so sources for uh, the first 10 or so ads I made in my tree that is tedious work since a lot of it's already there, but it needs formatting. That's it. interesting. So, yes, I think I'm having wiki goals. <laughs> that was interesting <laughs> to watch that thought process. Uh, that's right. right now. I think that's where yeah. David Randall's checklist is, is really helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have a link for that? 
That's uh, easy. Sure, I can get. I can put it up. Yes. Thank you, uh, Alexis. Alexis, did you see the picture last week? Yeah. That was so cool to see that airplane. Uh, yes, I answer the fifty-two ans fifty-two ancestors weekly question and the fifty-two photos each week. She does. She is. Yeah. She's almost as prolific as Betsy Co at posting those great photos of the week. Uh, although the photo question is monthly this year, I also try to answer the question of the week and have over 200 contributions each week. I feel that this helps me to stay focused on doing research. That's a good answer wow. that doing other stuff on Wikitree helps you focus on your own work. Sometimes you wow. need to get away from the research and you and Wikitree is a good place to go when you need a break, believe mm -hmm. it or not. You know, mm -hmm. that works. Oh, let's see. Lisa Gervais. What has Lisa said? No, I don't really make any genealogy goals at all. Maybe I should make them more often and be specific, but I have trouble staying focused on one person or one family at times. Lisa, that's kind of like the Ooh, squirrel kind of mm -hmm. answer. Yeah. yeah, we were, uh, Greg and I were talking about that yesterday about oh, shiny yeah. things. So many squirrels. Us away. <laughs> yeah, so many squirrels. So yeah. many squirrels. <laughs> so many squirrels. Uh, let's see. I try to, this is from Doug McCallum. I try to uh, work from a research plan. He has a research mm, plan wow. and try to make some progress on it each week. I know where I should get on the plan. Don't always get as far as I would like to each week. That is so true. Mm -hmm. Even if you set those goals and you don't make them, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You you can scrub off some of that stuff. And, and sometimes even working on a family and you get frustrated that you're not finding what you need to find. And sometimes it's better to put them on another list and move to the next item. Mm -hmm. I, I do that. Let's see. That would make it like work. <laughs> and then I wouldn't <laughs> want to do it at all. Hey, Smith, that's hilarious. That is yeah, funny. And I, I, I ain't making no goals. <laughs> you can't make me. <laughs> you can't make me make a goal. I do, never. but I've never met them. Mm, yeah. And then, then this is S. Sagers. Oh, look at that. Uh, but it's mainly due to how genealogy websites are made. Thumbs mm. down, frowny face, quirky mm. face, a little angry face, a crying face, and a broken heart face. Mm. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if that's a commentary on us because this is like home. This isn't like a yeah. genealogy website, right? This is home. Uh, let's see. He must be talking about those other places. Must be. Must For be. sure. Must has, has to be. Has to be. Uh, oh, I love goals. this line. <laughs> Pip Shepard. Pip, where are you, man? You used to be here every Saturday. Yeah. Goals. We don't need no stinking, stinking goals. goals. <laughs> 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 a great. paraphrase of the line of dialogue from the 1948 film, The Treasure of the Sierra Madre. Oh, so he's citing his sources. <laughs> that line was in turn derived from a dialogue in the 1927 novel of the same name, which was the basis of the film. Goals, I don't need no stinking goals. Uh, which is to say I'm not a goal setter, but I do keep the three families I'm supposed to be working on in the back of my head. So I know where I'll start again. And, I'll, and if I never find time, oh, Pip. Let's see. My goal is just to fly below the radar, return to base safely, and live another oh. wiki tree day. <laughs> That's good. Oh, good comment, Kay. Uh, let's see. El Greer says, no, I go where the trail. See, I'm going to speak in a Spanish mm -hmm. accent now. No, I go where the trail. Sin leaves me. Oh, wait, wait. That was Dracula, right? Oh. <laughs> uh, Working on whatever has my attention at the time, I guess I have a goal to look at old profiles as well as creating new ones, but that's as far as it goes. That's a great goal. Mm. That is a great goal. Set a goal for yourself to go back and look at the first few profiles you made or the first 20 or the first 30 and mm. set a goal of doing that every day and see if it needs more work. Mm -hmm. I find that when I go back and look at stuff that I haven't done haven't looked at in a while. And I think Betsy mentioned this recently yeah. in one of her new members tips. Go back and check out the stuff that you haven't worked on in a while. It's, that's a good one. Let no Greer. Remember, you can sort your watch list in, you know, by edit date. So just look at yeah. the ones you haven't yeah. touched in a while. Yeah, that's a great one. Um, let's see. Marty Frank says, setting goals has never worked well for me. The path to completion seems to be paved with rabbit 
holes. <laughs> you know, we should just yeah. rename WikiTree WikiTree Rabbit Hole site. <laughs> you know, you can you can you can get lost in those rabbit holes. We know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, not weekly, but monthly from Jelena Eckstein. Uh, I want to date at least one undated profile per month. Uh, I want to connect at least one connect unconnected branch per month. I want to source at least 50 profiles per month. That's that's pretty doable, I think. Mm -hmm. I, 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 yeah, I except for that whole rabbit hole problem. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, Francesca. No thanks. Why set myself up for failure? <laughs> <laughs> I had to make that noise because yes. she stuck her tongue out. That's right. Um, Very appropriate. We totally. we support you, Francesca. We support you. You do. You keep on doing you because at WikiTree you can do as little or as much as you want. It's no biggie. No biggie. Um, let's see. Most of my current research is focused on the approximately fourteen hundred fifty people who are buried at a local cemetery and their family members who are buried there. Oh my gosh, that's so nice, M. Ross. I work on one family and their extended family until the research is finished. Sometimes it takes a day; other times it can take as long as a week. Connections to other families with members buried in the same cemetery usually provide clues to the next family group to be researched. Mm -hmm. I try not to down fall down those rabbit holes. We should have a sound that goes off whenever we say <laughs> rabbit hole <laughs> on a Saturday, or that should be our Saturday drink your orange juice. <laughs> um, Let's see, rabbit hole of researching other connected families before fish, finishing the original family. Uh, it's difficult to resist the temptation. Yeah, that's what rabbit holes oh, are yeah. all about. That's right. There's carrots down there in those rabbit holes. Let's see. Yes, my current goal is to generate as much family history from my living relatives as possible. I adopted my great-great-grandfather, George Lucas. Wait, George Lucas? I hear Star, Star Wars thing. Yes. Uh, and sent the link to the relatives. Is Chris saying stuff in the in the chat? Oh, he's uh, saying my mom. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he is. My mom came back a lovely reply based on one of the addresses. Huh. It's wonderful how little bits of information can trigger more information as she talked about other relatives. So I need to find out where they fit in our tree. So one week I might be looking into my mother's relatives and another my father's relatives. They're in their 80s, so it's very important. How nice working on that for your parents. Uh, I put aside one evening to investigate if we were related to Neville Shoot. Sadly, no joy. Uh, thanks for the question, as I believe goals are very important. Thank you, AOM. That's from Robert Lee, whose great-great-grandfather was George Lucas. Hmm. Chris Ferriello. No, Robin Lozier says no, no, no. I only add new info to profiles when I stumble across new and or interesting details, either when I'm reading a book or surfing on the Internet. Uh, that usually uh, that's when I usually disappear down a rabbit hole. There, see, everybody have some orange juice. Yeah, um, I kind of do. This is a long one from Sarah Jenkins. I kind of do. I usually try to do at least three entries a day, whether adding mm. sources or a new connection or image. Now, Go through and read this whole bit here. She talks about mm. uh, New Zealand and the Peyton family. Um, it, it's She does three entries a day so she can have at least the 100 badge. Right. The 100 contribution badges. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice. Occasionally before I even start uh, through an email, I'll send me off on another tangent down a rabbit hole. Yeah, okay. that's right. Go back and read all of that. That's very interesting. Uh, let's see. I didn't use to, but every week for years, I didn't use to, but every week for years I've, oh, for, but for every week for years, I've been going through my wiki tree anniversary list and determine my weekly goals on those people for those days. That's a good idea. Mm. Betsy Co. Yes. Yeah. I, I see know, that the wheels are turning. Yes. Going through the list. It was on my list. It's yeah. on your list. See? Great minds think a lot. That's from Maggie in Maggie. Hey, Maggie in Buffalo. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. Let's see. I've always, but inevitably, I get caught in quicksand. <laughs> in order to escape, I might, I must solve a problem that fulfills someone else's genealogical goal before I can complete one of my own. 
quicksand. Yeah, I know that one. <laughs> this methodology has been great for my WikiTree learning curve, but it's still like walking in sand and I'm not getting any younger. Still, there's the satisfaction that I've inevitably helped somebody else. That's great, Le mm -hmm. Leanne, dear. That, that's true. Mm -hmm. Do you ever run into helping other people when you're just trying to get something done? Mm, yeah, I had... Um... Uh, I connected a, um, a couple people in the Connectathon in January, and then I got an email a few weeks later saying, um, we just need one more connection or whatever. And then that three days later, I popped up again <laughs> after I <laughs> did all that extra work. But it was it was a, through a Quebec. Uh, and um, so the person didn't have experience uh, reading the French records and stuff. So it was easier for me to do. And so, yeah, sometimes so, I do. So yeah, I'm at my 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 sister-in-law and brother-in-law's house, puppy sitting right now out in the woods. And then this is a place that I camp during the summers because they've got lots of acreage too. And you know what he did? Speaking of doing stuff for others, he walked downstairs with a CD and a book, and he says, "Can you figure this out for me?" Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, <laughs> sure. I hope they're not watching. <laughs> No, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know much about his side of the family, so um, that'll be fun mm. to do. Uh, a, a CD and a book. All right. Uh, not actually weekly from Alan Salt. Uh, I've set a goal of working through category Australia Immigrant Needs Voyage category added, starting from the Z end for no particular reason, adding immigrant voyages to as many profiles as possible. That's a great one too. Mm -hmm. Going through some categories for projects that you're interested in and working on adding those categories to those profiles. When yeah. I first started working on Wikitree, I, I worked on the, the, there were no categories for any of the towns or villages or cities in South Carolina. And so I went through and I created categories for all of those towns and villages wow. in South Carolina, all of them. And that was one of the ways I learned how to, how to do WikiTree. So I know how that works. Uh, adding those categories. Yeah. Oh, uh, I do monthly goals. This was from, did you have something to say, Betsy? No, I, I was just going to say what a great service. To, yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. Created all those categories. Yeah. Yeah. And working on, on uh, something that you're interested in. I'm interested in South Carolina. He's interested in Australian immigrant needs a, a voyage category because those mm -hmm. voyages are very important to mm -hmm. tying the story back to England for those Australian immigrants. Yeah. Um, and that was from Alan Salt from Anonymous Read. I do monthly goals, not weekly. Uh, I'm bouncing between my home and my frail elderly mother's tiny efficiency apartment. I have to be flexible in how I work. That That is good, too. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Think about think about having time. If you're like here, I am doing something for my my family. I've been working all week. I've had lots of meetings and lots of stuff going on, but I haven't stopped doing my wiki treeing. <laughs> so here I am. That's good. Just, yep. Let's see. I do not. My main goal when I started was to figure out my maternal line. Mom was estranged from her family. Many of those lines have scant information. So I've never been able to con connect with any living family, my original goal. Now my work is very specific. Some days, weeks, I do a lot. Others, I don't even open the site. I understand that. And it's good. It's good if you can set things aside for a bit and come back to it. Absolutely. Uh. Paula Franklin, my main goal is to get all the profiles in my little corner of the world categorized. Here we go. This is the proper wow. cemetery categories. And this is another one. I In the Appalachian project, I've been noticing that there's been a lot of work going on in some of the cemetery categories that, uh, that people have been working on. And lots of chatter in the Discord channel for that. Uh, Michael Schindler. Surprised I don't. Didn't see my answer here already. Guessing I have almost 6,000 profiles under management. WikiTree gives me a birthday list every Wednesday automatically. So here's your list yeah. there, Betsy, the birthday yeah. list. Mm -hmm. So I yeah. use this opportunity to review every profile on that list to see what I can do to make it better and mostly to find, to find more sources to add. Yeah, and those, those quirky little fun lists that WikiTree gives you every week, those are great to work on, Michael Schindler. Let's see, Marianne Cerruti. Uh, I try to perform other tasks so I won't spend all of my time researching genealogy and working on WikiTree. Really? There's something outside of WikiTree? Yeah, really? I didn't What's know that? That's, that's surprising. 
There are rumors, um, but I'm not sure. There's, there's rumors. Yes, she does have a, a weekly goal. That's cool. Um, I didn't until recently. This is from Aaron Robertson. Last six months or so, I think it helps me keep a rounded approach, making sure I visit some of my anniversary lists, but also visit each of my projects. Otherwise, it's too easy to camp out in rabbit holes and accomplish not accomplish much. I accomplish stuff when I go down in rabbit holes. It just isn't what I plan on accomplishing. <laughs> true? That's true. Mm -hmm. I don't true. find rabbit holes. Well, what what is your take on it, Greg? Uh, no, I, I, I tr it, it's true. Yeah, I think you, you can get things done in rabbit holes. Yeah, and you learn things. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you go down rabbit holes and you just get lost, huh? You uh, just look for rat for the those carrots. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think eventually I will go to a daily model: Mondays for disasters, Tuesdays for anniversary, Wednesdays for Italy. There you go, Betsy. Mm -hmm. It keeps me engaged and gives me some structure. That's interesting. Having a theme day. Yeah. I, like that. I don't know if I could do that because when I go into to work on a family or something, I don't, I, I like, I get lost in the family. It's not a rabbit hole. I just, I, I work for days and days and days on one mm -hmm. family or weeks. Um, interesting. Oh, I set them right down. Okay. Here, Pamela Belanger or Ballinger. Oh, I set them, write them down, thumbs up and start on the, on the, on them with focus and gusto. Then I completely enjoy following down. A time to drink again, folks. Rabbit hole. We should give her an orange juice emoji for that, uh, which has an unexpected lead. She loves that, which has to go on the goal for next week. <laughs> my goals this week, always growing, smiley. I think my goal for next week will be to remove more than I add. That's a good one. Mm. Uh, let's see. We just got a couple of more here going oh. down. Any anybody in the looking for people that might be in the in the chat? Um, let's see, Pennsylvania County. That's uh, that's one of my counties for my Dillards. Uh, no, I work on my gene genealogy for a few days, uh, not work on it for a few weeks, and then go back to to it again for a few days. There you go, David Rice Ross. Can't set a weekly goal if I'm not doing it all the time. What what? People don't do genealogy all the time. <laughs> what? Uh, yes, I do in order to achieve monthly goals of earning the thousand con contributions. So here we are. We have two people in here who have mentioned that that getting a badge, whether it's the hundred or the thousand, getting a badge. Uh, so he has to pace his weekly effort to around 200 to 250 a week. Uh, these may be creating new. If you're interested in garnering a lots of contribution badges, Mm -hmm. I can tell you how to do that. Be a greeter. Uh, Be a greeter. Oh, yes. That Greeters is get those contribution badges like that. Huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's why I have so many contributions because I was a mm -hmm. greeter for, and I, I was the leader of the greeter project for a couple of years. One of the best things I've ever done was, was being a part of the greeters. I love that. Mm -hmm. I should go back and do it and nothing else. Just greet. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, I set, set small daily goals. This is from Dina Grozev to make sure that I'm coming back every day to check in and do some edits and additions. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, small checklist. Building small routines is more helpful. Uh, Sally Kimball says in the sense that uh, many people think of goals, I have to say no, mm -hmm. but I always have something in progress. So her goals are to work on what she's got going. So that's that's pretty good. Uh, I don't set a weekly goal. I live on a farm and never know when I'll have time to do research. I do mm -hmm. set project goals. For instance, since uh, I'm adding the great grandchildren, my 30 times great grandparents. Um, yeah, I, I imagine working on a farm. You're working from sun up to sundown, so you've got all those mm -hmm. dark hours to work on. Wiki tree, <clears throat> right? Who right. needs sleep? Nothing else to do. <laughs> nothing else to do in those, Wiki those tree, dark hours. Can like <laughs> <laughs> you can be a vampire wiki treer. <laughs> <laughs> about two or three years ago around mid-december one time i saw awen's post here asking if anyone has any genealogical goals for the new year shout out to the elf i thought that was an interesting idea taking the end of the year to reflect on what i had done and what questions i still had that was trying to answer mysteries that i was trying to solve and things i wanted to do I set out to mark down some goals for me. 
I found out that it certainly helps to have them down somewhere and refer back to them after pursuing inevitable rabbit holes. There we go again, people. Drink some orange juice <laughs> and that we fall, fall down. Since then, I review them at the end of the year, of course, but I still find myself reviewing them throughout the year. And I add new ones, categorize my goals. Some goals have it. Here's another one, Betsy Co. you were talking about. Get yourself a list of to do's, things that you want to get. There yeah. you go. Technically, uh, I don't break down these goals by month or week for the freedom of being fluid. So mm -hmm. Eric Weddington, that's a good answer, too. So that's the question of the week. Yeah. So well, what I'm about you two? Do you do you set weekly goals? I, I don't have time to set weekly goals. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I'm a firefighter. I'm running from one burning building to the next burning building trying to put out fires, uh, basically. Um, whether it's working on merges on Wikitree or um, answering questions. I get lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of questions. Uh, so I spend a lot of time talking to people about genealogy and how to do things and where to go and that kind of stuff. So it's kind of hard for me to set goals. I kind of fluid. I like mm -hmm. the fluid uh, mm -hmm. fluid thing. What about you, Greg? Uh, um, I, you, I sometimes uh, write down sort of at the beginning of the week things that I want to get accomplished. And my genealogy goals vary from programming goals, like things I want to add to uh, an app or a new app I want to develop or and to and research ones. So I'm working on a family tree for uh, some family friends. And um, so that's going to be a long term project um, done, probably finished by the uh, late spring, I'm hoping. So that's mm -hmm. exciting, too. Are so you going to make to them a tree tree? Are you going to like give them a, a big print out of, of their tree? I'm planning on doing a big a big printout, you know, like a, PD, a PDF that I can send to Staples and make like a wall chart or something. A PDF that you can make. And, and, and I was just thinking about somebody asked the question recently of you about doing printing the fan charts. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. The, the newest version of the fan chart that's in the tree apps doesn't have the print to PDF button anymore. Because um, of all the different um, options uh, that I had ported over from the original fan chart app that does have the PDF button, um, that was one of the ones that was lower on my list because there's still a way to print from the fan chart. Like if you, um, if a win if you have a Windows or a Mac, you can usually just do a print screen or you can go file print and then print to PDF is often an option. It's not not always on some computers, but many computers you can add a PDF printer and then you can sort of do it that way. And when they when they set up the tree apps, they're very clever because there's a way in the code which they've done that it doesn't print that header at the top, you know, the place where you put in your wiki tree name and the, you mm -hmm. choose the app in the drop down list. That stuff mm -hmm. at the top doesn't actually appear when you go file print. It disappears. Oh, I haven't tried to print from the tree apps yet. Yeah. Cool. So, um, what so. about you, Betsy? Well, I, I, re I just about two weeks ago, I joined the Wales project. Wow. And so that brings my project commitment up to four projects, Wales, England, Scotland, and Canada. Yeah. Um, so, oh, Canada. <laughs> so I've been thinking that uh, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm helping each of the projects that I've made a commitment to. And so I'm thinking that I'm going to work on each project on a weekly basis. So um, Scotland has a little mini clean-a-thon going on right now. So I'm making sure that I'm doing some a little bit of that every day. And, um, and then next week, I'll do something for one of the other projects. Uh, Lisa says, save the whales. Uh, <laughs> uh, you may have to explain this one. Uh, I, I, I... Sure, I can explain oh. that. Um, no, no, so... no, no. Uh, the one to explain is... I don't see the fan chart option. Did it right. move? Well, it's actually connected because the fan chart the fan chart is now part of the tree apps. So if you click on the tree apps tab, the fan chart is one of those options in the in the drop down list. Uh, when I switch to the profiles of the week, I can show you that actually. So maybe that's a a segue. Segue. <laughs> <laughs> How about we do that? Um, well, that was yours. So let's just go here. Um, and where are we? Is she very no. heavy on whales? You know, to have her sitting on whales. But I'm bumped. Thank you, Stuart. There Angel. we go. Okay. I thought so, you were going to thank me for that comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So the um, the profiles of the week are black comedians. This is Black History Month, and um, yay, yeah. So we have black comedians. Which ones are you most closely connected to? And as always, I have forgotten to check which ones I'm most clo me, closely connected to. I'm sure Mags will tell us shortly. Yes. Yeah, as soon as I get there. <laughs> well, well, that's okay. You don't have to. So the the lead one is Eddie Murphy. So let me pop over to his, and then I can show you um, how to get to the fan chart from, from here. So in Eddie Murphy's, if you click on the Tree Apps tab right mm -hmm. here, it will... Uh, load up the this this interface, which is the list of all the tree apps, and right at the t the first thing here is a, a drop down list, and you can choose you can choose which type of app you want to load, and the default is the last app that you used, and this week if you've never used tree apps before, they changed the default from being the dynamic tree, which looks uh, like let me just open that up, it opens like this. This was the, this was the original. This is basically the original dynamic tree that's been in Wikitree for forever. Um, and the way it works is you just click on the plus sign and you just keep adding a set of parents all the way. Um, but Riel Schmidt, who was one of our hackathon uh, contributors, um, developed a couples dynamic tree, which is, looks a little uh, a little fancier. Um, and so that now become, has become the default if you haven't already selected it, if this is your first time through. And um, it works very similar but it shows uh, couples at a time. Um, now we've that's interesting, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's good. And, yeah, which is neat because that's what you, you think of, of that. Yep. And uh, right. the other thing that's, that's cool about it is you, he has built in this drop-down list so you can actually see the, the, the children, um, the, hence the siblings of the, the people below. <laughs> there is multiple marriages now. Um, and I don't see any of them here. Oh, wait a second. Charles here, right here. See that little drop down there means that he had more than one spouse. So you can see the list of spouses uh, if someone's married more than one time. But yeah. the couple here in the tree will be the father and mother of the person mm -hmm. below them, right? So, um, so, Greg, you're 28 from Eddie Murphy and Betty Co is 30. Oh, okay. 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 So um, to answer the question about where the fan chart went, the fan chart is right here in that list. And so if I click on that, then it builds out Eddie's, Eddie's tree and there it is. And so the settings um, is where you can change various things. And one of the things I just added actually in the color section, um, I've now got a, an option so that you can color it by uh, family stats. And right now the only stat I have is age. Mm. So I, um, to that, then you can actually see here. Let me just scroll up a little bit and zoom in oh, a bit. Cool. You can see it, it color codes the people in the chart based on their the age, how how old they were when they passed away. And we're lucky to have you at Wikitree. Just oh, saying. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. And then I've also added um, color coding by um, location. So if I do that. Oh. So here. I was going to do that. So is is red? Um, this is a just country that has red the colors, in their flag and blue. Again, now, like in the original fan chart app, I would I had the ability to color uh, to uh, customize the colors. I haven't added that feature yet. Um, because well, just there's just so much, <laughs> so many, so many apps, so little time. So I have to. <laughs> I, I always choose. customize the colors. I do. Yeah, I know, and and yeah. I'm going to add that, but I haven't done that yet. I thought, well, first let's get it working, and then we'll yep. get it working better. <laughs> but I, what I have done is I've added the ability to um, um, to change, alternate the color in the cell. Y'all should have never shown me that that I could do that. <laughs> yes, right. Really. Now I can't make it stop. <laughs> okay. So one of the other features I've had. Uh, so I option. There's a bunch of different choices. You, so you can go by country. You can go by. Um, town uh, town even uh region of death so that would be like the state or province so let's see there we go so there's some north carolina for you um mm -hmm. and so on and there was one i added the birth and death country and the way that works is okay so it looks like uh, hmm. well maybe because they they all they're the same for each what if it uh, if I did so, uh, someone else's if they're born in one country and died in another country, you'd have two tones. You'd have the outer 
shell would be the birth color and the inner shell would be the the death color mm -hmm. so you get two so in in a in a person's square or, or cell or wedge there'd be two different colors to represent the two different um so for migrations and stuff yeah. but mm -hmm. uh, for eddies which is i guess a boring one to choose to show off this <laughs> this feature it's all about the states so you either get usa and lisa or also lisa also pointed out that that the the uh, WikiTree Plus program would show those as suggestions for changing from USA to United States or however we list it. So, yeah. That's right. Well, that was when I first added this feature to the original fan chart. Um, mm -hmm. Lots of people were, were, were loving it because you do this and it, I mean, it jumps right out at you. Well, um, especially like if you go by, um, if you show countries and then one of the countries is just the name of a, a village then you know that they just haven't entered the full name. And so that's a, a red flag that just jumps in your face to say, well, this needs to be fixed, you know? Mm. And the cool thing is it's easy to fix because you just click on a person's name and then you link and it opens up their profile. Yeah. Straight from the fan chart. So nice. And see, it says 30 degrees. 30 degrees right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that was the little detour. <laughs> that was to... our rabbit hole of the morning. Yes. Yes. Talking about rabbit holes. Oh my, guilty but as so, hard. So many carrots there. <laughs> Lots of carrots there. Okay. Um, but we didn't even talk about Eddie. Um, let's get back to Eddie. Let's, if we go back to his, uh, basic tree, we can hide his ancestors and there we are back to his profile. Uh, so here we are, born in the 60s. Of course, uh, he, he like uh, a number of these people are, are still alive. So their profiles on Wikitree are relatively short, but there are links to either their IMDb page um, or um, a Wikipedia article. Um, but Eddie was uh, son of Charles Edward Murphy and Lillian Laney, American comedian, actor, excuse me, sorry, writer, singer, producer, very notable. Uh, born in Brooklyn, uh, April 3rd, 1961. Uh, I love it how, you know, Wikitree, you know, sort of makes it generic because they're living, but then the profile goes ahead and gives away the full details. <laughs> <laughs> but since it's on Wikipedia anyways, I guess it's, and they're notable, I guess it's not so much a secret. So, but it's kind of funny, the dichotomy there. Um, uh, his parents separated when he was three uh, and his father was killed when he was just eight. Um, he, his mother married a second time uh, and the, the new husband helped raise Eddie and his brother. Um, so Eddie, uh, this is not unusual. Uh, a number of these profiles um, have tragedies in that um, parents, one or both parents passed away early and um, which is kind of kind of sad, but it's a theme that we see. I began doing st stand up in 76, Saturday Night Live. And then uh, movies, Beverly Hills Cop, that was the first one I remember seeing him in. Um, Coming to America, The Nutty Professor, Shrek, of course, the, the voice of the donkey, in Shrek. Um, uh, lots of awards and stuff. And uh, has five, oh, he has five, ch they have five children, is this right? He's got five children together with uh, Nicole Mitchell. And then five other children with other people. Oh, big family. Big family. The big family. Yeah, they were making a joke about that in the last awards show, wherever that was. Oh, yeah. Well, speaking of making jokes about people with large families, the next notable is Nick Cannon. Hmm. Um, Somebody already said what their relationship was to him and that they had a lot of birthday cards to send. So I guess they were replying <laughs> to that. That's <laughs> funny. Uh, um, um, yeah. So I'm 26 degrees, apparently, from, from Nick. Uh, and he is your closest. Is he my closest? Okay. Or let's see, make sure. Wonder how. Let's see. How is he my? How is he connected? Um, Nick Cannon is connected through. Oh. Your mother. Oh, the Marcus side. Yeah. Huh. There we go. And through Mariah Carey. Interesting. Through her mama as well. Mm. That's fun, McMurray. Yep. yep. That's my Canadian grandfather. Excellent. There you go. Yep. Neat. 
Uh, so he's the American television host, actor, rapper, and comedian. And I must confess, I did not know who Nick Cannon was because I don't watch. I know, I know, it's crazy, but I don't watch. Um, neither my wife or I uh, actually watch um, live. What's the live? Call? You know, um, reality TV. That's what they call. It. So America's Got Talent and the Masked Singer. Even though there's singing involved, and I'm am a musician, those aren't shows that we watch. So. I didn't know about Nick, so that was interesting. So I've learned something new. I, um, I feel, uh, I, I know I live under a rock with regard to pop culture. I didn't know he was married to Mariah Carey. Again, yeah. something else I knew, I learned. <laughs> and they had twins. Here's Are the you... birthday comment from oh. Terry Burks. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he had... Um, he had twins with Mariah, but um, altogether there was a there's a link here. Uh, where is it about? Um, Twelve kids and counting. A full list of all his children. So if you click on that, it will show the list of all his children and all the people he's had children with, and and he's posted you know adorable sweet Instagram things with each of them and whatnot. There was there was one sad one. There there was one of his children died at like five months or. Was it five months or five weeks? It was young, like they were under a year. It was very sad. Um, but anyways, that's Nick. Uh, Benjamin Sherman Crothers, also known as the Scatman Crothers. Um, born in... Um, <laughs> there you go. Meg's is doing some scat for us. Yeah. I um, love him. Yeah, he's great. Um, May 23rd, 1910 in Tarot. Yeah, Vigo, Indiana, United States. Married in Las Vegas, 1971. Um, at a uh, relatively old age um, for, you know, first marriage, 61 and 52. Uh, he and his wife and passed away the 22nd of November, uh, 1986, at the age of 76 in Van Nuys. He was an American actor, a singer, a dancer, a voice actor, and a musician and he was best known for his work. He was Louis the Garbage Man on the show Chico and the Man. <laughs> I didn't even realize that until I read that. But then I looked at his face. Oh, yeah. Okay, I could see that. Um, he was also in The Shining and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And what Chris Ferriolo is all excited about is that he also was the voice actor who played the Transformer known as Jazz in the mm. 1980s Transformers cartoon. So... Uh, this is a transformer who loved music and so would often sing during that. And apparently um, he also uh, played in between takes on, on set. He would all, he'd bring his uh, guitar and he would uh, serenade the actors while people did uh, the management or the other, the crew did other stuff uh, in between filming and stuff. But um, uh, so he was, uh, let's see, he was living with his parents um to the age of 19 went to started performing in a speakeasy <laughs> so that's kind of cool um and then he when he went on to a radio show they want the radio announcer wanted a snappier name than his you know benjamin sherman Crothers, and so that's where he said well you just call me scat man because i do a lot of scat um so that's kind of cool he just sort of made it up on the time and then that stuck uh became his own uh, in the 30s, did some touring, then the 50s, um, made his first film and so on. So, uh, good guy. Samuel George Davis Jr. Or Sammy Davis Jr. Yes, he's that more is your closest. He, uh, and he's at 25, right? Because the other guy was 26, right? Is that right? Yeah. Nick. Yeah. Nick. Nick. <laughs> the other guy. The other guy. <laughs> Sammy Davis is my closest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, born uh, Meadow Lark Lemon is mine. Oh, nice. Mm. Nice doing some globe trotting there. Um, I've, Sammy I've met him. I've seen him. Yeah, really. That's cool. yeah. Oh. At the University of North Carolina, we hung out. We were hangers on for the UNC basketball team, and when the globe trotters came, we were actually at their practice section by accident, but we got to see huh. them and meet them. That's amazing. Isn't that fun? That's amazing. He was so tall. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sammy Davis Jr., however, was not tall. 
No. <laughs> um, no. I don't think Good segue. so. <laughs> Talk about rabbit holes. We're getting into rabbit holes we haven't even got to yet. <laughs> yeah. We're in advance getting into rabbit holes. Wow. December 2025 in Harlem. Um, there's a couple that are connected with Harlem in this. Um, oh, speaking of uh, connections, there's your map of the week. Um, <laughs> <laughs> rabbit hole, squirrel. Um, there's the map. Um, the red dots are, are birthplaces. The blue dots are... Uh, death places, uh, pl places where people died. And you can see there's only a few blue dots on the screen because a number of our profiles are, are living. Um, mm -hmm. What's kind of cool is now, so if you zoom in, um, it's going to redraw it at a closer resolution. And if I do it closer, it's going to actually put people's names. Mm. So there's Samuel, Sammy Davis Jr. passed away in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. But if you look closely, like, look at this. Um, okay, so he was born, over, he was born in Harlem, right? So this, there's the arrow. Can you see the arrow where my, my yep. cursor is? Right. Yes. Okay, so right. this is coming from Harlem where he was born. This is where he died in Beverly Hills. Uh -huh. But look at, there's and another arrow going there. He went to heaven. And what heaven is, is heaven? where? Heaven was where in, is it? Heaven is in Glendale. No. Which <laughs> Glendale? <laughs> Glendale is the cemetery. So Alec, no, because no, no. the cemetery is, is added to his profile, mm -hmm. Alec is able to customize the map. So not only do you have the death place, but you actually have the burial place if it's listed um, in, the, in the profile. Isn't that cool? That's, that's that a wonderful cool. feature. That's great. That, I think that's so cool. That's so cool. That is cool. Um, and my guess is that uh, Isabel Sanford and, uh, and Scatman are buried in the same cemetery right here. Yeah, I see that. Cool. You eh? think he's doobie doobie shooing her in the cemetery? <laughs> Could be. Um, but anyways, uh, back to Sammy, American singer, tap dancer, actor, pianist, drummer, comedian, part of the Rat Pack. Um, did lots of films with Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin. Um, love this picture here of him in his prime. Um, and was that on Ed Sullivan? I don't know. Brooklyn Studios. It was taken at Brooklyn Studios. He uh, is credited with breaking down a lot of barriers for the African American community yeah. in show business. Yeah. Perry Como show. This is what, what it was from. Um, yeah, he's won lots of awards for that. Um, Mr. Wonderful on Broadway and then starting in the movies. Um, the Rat Pack did a so I, were they the first to do an Ocean's Eleven? Is it the same sort of one as the more recent Oceans? Same sort of yeah. storyline? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm only familiar with the one with uh, George Clooney. Yeah, I know. I was thinking of that. Of course yeah. you are. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go back and watch the original, see how it starts. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's our homework for this week. Okay. <laughs> Um, inducted in the, in the Martin Luther King Jr. National Historic Site Park, uh, Civil Rights Walk of Fame, uh, Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame, lots of, um, of honors for him, well-deserved. Sadly, um, as, a, as a singer, he died of throat cancer. Oh. Um, Not because he was a singer, but it said a no. singer yeah. dies of throat yeah. cancer, you know. That's very sad. Um, anyways, Sammy. Then, <laughs> can you guess from the sources who this one is going to be? Oh, yeah, you can, because it says right there. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Ted Lang. Uh, Ted Lang the third, or is it Lange? I would guess Lang, but I don't I know. I think it's Lang. Lang. Ted Lang. Was he the love boat person? He is. He's Isaac oh. the bartender. Oh. The bartender. Yeah, yeah. Isaac the bartender from love Profile Manager and then Beth. Way to go, Emma. Uh, he's also been, an, he's, as well as being an actor, he's also a director and a screenwriter. Um, globally recognized for his role as Isaac the Bartender in the TV series, The Love Boat. Yeah, The Love Boat is one of those shows that it's been syndicated. We went, like it it plays in Italy. When we went over to um, for a trip in Italy, um, it's on one of their TV stations, you know, dubbed in Italian or whatever, but. <laughs> that was a fun show. Yeah. Um, Guarded many awards, including the Renaissance Man Theater Award from NAACP. 
and a Heroes and Legends Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, born in Alameda County, California, son of Geraldine Jerry Wilson and Theodore W. Lang. Um, his mother became one of the first black women in S San Francisco news and talk TV. So his mother was also a trailblazer and his father was an actor in the showcase nice. theater. Sadly, they divorced when he was young. He was living with maternal grandparents. That's another uh, commonality between some of these uh, profiles is um, being raised by grandparents, um, majored in drama. And then of course the love boat is the, was his big breakup. So, there we go. Um, nice. Yeah, there's your guy. George Meadow Lemon the <laughs> Third, son of George Meadow Lemon the <laughs> Second, presumably uh, grandson of George Meadow Lemon, the original, <laughs> the OG. Um, born in Wilmington, uh, North Carolina, and passed away in Scottsdale, Arizona, at age eighty-three. And okay, um, this is a really nice, fulsome uh, profile. Um, partly, I guess, because he has passed away, and so there's there's more stuff well, that can yeah. be added into. I love that picture of him. That's great. That's neat, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Action shot. Action but shot. But it would be yeah. slippery because people Look wet down the surface for the photos, you know? Mm. You ever oh, notice in so car tiny? commercials, the road's always wet? Oh, Because yeah. it reflects the car, mm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so basketball player, of course, um, most famous for being part of the Harlem Globetrotters, Trotters, but also actor. He was in a number of shows. And uh, near the end of his career, he became a Christian minister, a oh. pastor, often known as the clown prince of basketball due to his incredible talents. So, oh. I mean, he was a really good basketball player. I, I mean, he was. It, it was it was pure comedy when you were watching it and a lot of physical stunts, but you have to be really good to make it look yeah, that simple pull that off. and natural. Yeah. yeah. So very impressive. Um, his parents uh, di got divorced before he attended school. Um, he remained with his, his uh, father. Um, then uh, he bird this is, a, this is something that seems to like, I read this and I thought, well, that's like, you know, a, a TV movie. He built his first basketball hoop with a wire coat hanger and an onion sack and used a carnation milk container for his first basketball. I mean, maybe it's true. I mean, it must be true. It's written here, right? Um, but that seems wild. <laughs> he seems really devoted. Yes. Um, um, but anyways, the profile is great. It goes through all about um, the great stuff he's done with the, the Globetrotters. And then he did other stuff afterwards. Uh, I mean, he kept on playing basketball well beyond uh, when many others would have given up um and then talks about his turning to ministry in the end so very interesting well done profile oh um there's a well the foundation he and his second wife set up a foundation um i had opened up uh loretta mackie mary uh, aiken also known as mums mabley was born in 1897 in transylvania I didn't know you had a Transylvania in North Carolina, man. Yeah, Transylvania County. <laughs> there you go. It's very, it's very high mountain area. Is it? Yeah, because wow. when we lived, when I lived in South Carolina, we would hear there is a weather alert for Transylvania County all the time <laughs> because of the elevation. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Um, she passed away at the age of seventy-eight uh, in 1975 in White Plains, Westchester, New York. Oh. Um, so Mums Mabley, a famous stand-up comedian known for her stage persona as a bedraggled old woman. She became well-known in the 60s, appearing on TV and in Carnegie Hall. She recorded over 20 albums of her routines and appeared in several films. Mm. Um, but she had a difficult uh, life starting out, though. She was the youngest of 10, or she was one of at least 10 children of James Aiken and Mary Smith. Um, at age three, she was the youngest in the household. Her father was a merchant and he also volunteered for the fire department, but sadly died um, when a fire engine exploded in 1909. And she would have only been 12 at the time, I think. Yes, 19, yeah, uh, 11 at the time. Um, she lived with her widowed mother um, in a store. 
um, was raped twice and had two different children from that. Oh. Um, and, uh, she began a professional career at 15. Um, and she caught her first big break when she was in Dallas, making $14 a week um, for with a comedy team. And then when they hooked her up with an agent and when she went moved to Baltimore, she made $90 a week. So, so that's good. That's yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty 1923, good. That's, that's really good. Yeah. Absolutely. She played in the cotton club. Yeah. The, like, that's big time. She appeared that's with Louis Armstrong. Time. And Duke that's Ellington. where scat man Crothers did lots of scatting. I can yes. tell you that. Yeah. So, um, I, I wonder if they might, they probably cross paths at some point, Scatman and, yeah. and Maves. Oh, yeah. Uh, what I really like here is... Another good scatter, Cab Calloway. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sorry, she, I like She adopted scatting. the name Jackie Mabley in honor of a Canadian man named Jack Mabley to whom she had been engaged, but they never married because he would not move to the U.S. and she would not move to Canada. Oh. So that's sad. The board that is very on. sad. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, but then um, that may, the marriage may not have worked out so well because she came out as a lesbian at the age of 27. Might not have worked out well. Might, Might not, not have. have. Might not have. Um, but that made her one of the first openly gay comedians. And considering she was born in 1897, so that's 1925 she came out? Yeah. That's it was early. In that era, in that era, it was okay. It's when things oh, the started you know, going way right winging after that. Oh, um, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. So in the roaring 20s, that was not as weird as oh, really? what, what it became. Yeah. Well, that's things were very, very funny. Billie Holiday. Uh, there are oh. other actresses that were uh, popular in that area, era that were also uh, LGBTQ plus. So. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Actors, too. Hmm. Well, you think of the, um, uh, yeah, you think of some of the movies that are set in that era, like The Great Gatsby, and mm -hmm. um, you know, you think of The Left Bank. Yeah, yeah. You think of Josephine Baker running, yeah, that's right? Yeah, okay. To, to Paris to Good. perform. Once again, live cast becomes Canadians learn stuff about <laughs> the world. About about. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so anyways very good and you know I love the, a good quote for on a profile yes. so she's got two really good ones a woman is a woman until the day she dies but a man's a man only as long as he can I'm not quite sure but <laughs> what? I'm not quite sure what she's referring to I think I might well I don't know anyways let's maybe she means gentlemen yeah maybe um, life okay. is like a game life of poker if you don't put any in the pot there won't be any to take out. Is that where they got life is like a box of chocolates? I don't know. <laughs> you never know but what yeah, you're going to get. You don't, if you if nothing ventured, nothing gained, sort, same sort yeah. of idea. If you, if you don't yeah. put something into it, you're not going to get anything out well, of it. It's like, yeah, having some skin in the game. Yeah. 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 Got to take a risk. Um, I'm, moving I'm along. leaning over to check on the knees pup. Oh, the just in pop. case you're wondering if I was just falling asleep. No. Oh, no, no. Because I'm taking too long here? Oh, well. No, 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 no. You're not taking too long. I'm just checking on No, it's all these rabbit holes. But they're, they're well, pe we still have people what in the chat. What rabbit holes? Wait, so you know everybody what? drink to have some orange yeah. juice. <laughs> <laughs> said it, yeah. Richard Franklin Lennox, Thomas Pryor. That's a nice long moniker um, for Richard Pryor. Born on the 1st of December, 1940 in Peoria, Illinois. Ooh. Um, married a number of times to um, anonymous people, apparently here, um, or just just don't have profiles. Mm -hmm. just, or no, they they must be living, right? Because they wouldn't yeah, show if they weren't. Listed. Right mm -hmm. there, you go. Um, uh, passed away at the age of sixty-five, which is way too young. Yes, way too young. <laughs> uh, in Los Angeles, California, stand-up comedian, actor, writer, um, widely regarded as one of the greatest stand-up comedians of all time. Um, won a primetime Emmy, five Grammy Awards. Rolling Stone magazine ranked him first on its list of 50 best stand up comics of all time. He was a Mason. He was really? a, Mason. Oh, God, a Freemason and a member of the Oriental Lodge, number 68, Chicago. His parents were Leroy Pryor and Gertrude L. Brown. Um, they, became, they got married a couple of years after he was born, uh, but then divorced. And he was raised by his paternal grandmother. 
who also ran a brothel and was known for her toughness. So, um, no wonder he has a good sense of humor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <You have> to. <laughs> he had a difficult and traumatic childhood, dropped out of school. At 14. Yeah, I guess. Um, he dropped out of school at 14, uh, joined the army and, uh, be became a, um, and he performed during the army. Uh, he performed along with Rob Dylan, went on to the Ed Sullivan show, Merv Griffin, Johnny Carson. Um, he wrote he wrote material for Sanford and Son and the Flip Wilson show. I was um, going to say, I was wondering if Flip Wilson, I was just checking to see if Flip Wilson was one of the people on the list. He's not, but he should. He'd be fun to have. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, he also, um, he also uh, did some screenwriting with Mel Brooks for Blazing Saddles. I didn't realize that. Yes, um, I knew that. Uh, um, yeah. And of course, host of Saturday Night Live. And uh, there we go. Married seven times to five different women because two he married a, uh, a second time each. So there we go. Enjoy your new desk. D, D is going to fly. She's getting wings. Oh, she nice. She got a new desk. Yay. See ya. Um, he was in Superman 3. <laughs> By the way, I, my Rudolph, uh, born in the 70s, um, American comedian, actor, singer, um, Jewish father. Daughter <laughs> of a woman who had one of the biggest ranges of singing vocals for, as a woman any ever. What's that? Her mother. Go look oh, at her, her mother. mother. Oh, her mother. I didn't hear it. Who is her, who's her mother? Minnie Go Ripperton. Ahead. Yes. Okay. Remember she had that song back in the 70s that went way up there and then back down. Oh. Yeah. I'm not she sure had a big range. Go ahead. Okay. Go, go ahead. ahead. Her father was the Lithuanian Jewish composer Dick Rudolph and her mother, yeah, legendary singer-songwriter Minnie Ripperton. Mm. Um, sadly, her mother died of breast cancer just two weeks before her seventh birthday. Oh. So she lost, again, someone who lost a parent young. Oh. Graduated from the University of California with a photography degree, interesting. Um, but she was part of a comedy troupe and then went on to Saturday Night Live. Um, she did uh, impressions of Beyonce, Oprah, and Charo. Speaking of the, the Love Boat connection, I remember Charo yeah. was one of the regulars Charo. on Love Boat. Chiquita <laughs> banana. Um, uh she was also famous for her role in bridesmaids um uh, maya not charo um my <laughs> <laughs> um and has done a, a number of other ones russian doll poker face um there's a show that she's on in apple tv as well um anyways and there you go mm -hmm. appeared on finding your roots twice apparently i'm wondering if <laughs> I think I've seen at one of those. I yeah. didn't. I didn't know you could be yeah, on the show once. Yeah, I was gonna say twice. What did they do? Well, like my guess line, is that line, there was a oh. They probably focused on her father in one of them, um, and then her mother on the other because they'd be totally different branches, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Is my guess. Yeah. I haven't seen either of them, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, that's one type of reality TV I probably would enjoy watching, so I should, mm -hmm. I should check it out. Oh, come on. Lisa Gervais, you're shooting me down. She says that Minnie Ripperton only had a four octave vocal range. Oh. While Mariah Carey has a five octave. How can you have a five octave range? That's you know, like there's a guy. A Jeff Buckley had a five octave range. That's Jeff Buckley. Easy. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Wow. Here we are. Down the rabbit hole. Everybody has to <laughs> jump in. in. Let's <laughs> jump in for a dive. Uh, it's we uh Eloise Gwendolyn uh Sanford. This is interesting. I loved her. Yeah. Um I loved everything that she was in. Yeah. She I wanted her famous. to be my grandmother. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So she's most famous her most her. famous role was Wheezy Jefferson, Louise Jefferson, uh the, the wife of George Jefferson. Um, originally started um, starred in All in the Family as as the neighbor next door, but they became so popular that they got their own show. Now, interesting, she appeared on the show, the All in the Family, um, as this accessory character way before her husband showed up. He was only mentioned because he was doing something on Broadway and wasn't available. But the um, producer really wanted him for that role. 
So they just wrote it so that eventually when he was able, then they were able to get him onto the set and, uh, and star with, uh, of course, he, uh, he butted heads with um, Archie. <laughs> um, a couple of all times. The, all the time. Moving <laughs> on up to the moved, east yeah. side. There we go. And then the Jeffersons um, went on for 10 years, <laughs> which is pretty wild. Um, she was the I youngest. watched it. I love that show. Sorry. I know. Yeah. We watched it too. Um, when we could. <laughs> Her father worked as a chauffeur. Um, uh, she went, she started the, the Apollo theater, another very famous, mm. um, theater. Um, she married a house painter and, uh, she went, started in guess who's coming to dinner. Interesting. Um, and then it goes on to talk about her, her role also in, uh, all the family and the Jeffersons. So passed away in 2004. Um, this was five by daughter, two sons, grand and great children, great grandchildren. So nice. Yeah, that's a nice profile. And Wanda Sykes is the final profile of the week. Um, born in the 60s. Funny woman. She's very funny. Love her. Love her voice. She's got such a unique voice. You know, just the, the texture of her voice is just so neat. Uh, born March 7th, 1964. Um, just a couple of months after me. Uh, she's the daughter of Harry Ellsworth Sykes and Marion Louise Peoples. Grew up in Gambles, Maryland. Graduated from Hampton University. Had several non-comedy jobs, including working for the NSA. Wow. Can you imagine her spying on people and then making sarcastic comments about what she found? <laughs> what, a, what an unusual career path. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you should see these it. schmucks here yeah look, look what they're doing um anyway she'd never seen a stand-up comedy show but loved watching comedians like Whoopi goldberg on tv so decided to give it a try imagine that uh it went over well and then she was hooked so she got hooked on doing the the com like she must have got she must get adrenaline from doing it yeah um she had several televised specials did some voiceover work won a primetime emmy as a writer for the chris rock show I thought that was cleverly written, that show. I like I like that one. Um, and so she was married to record producer Dave Hall uh, in from 91 to 98. And then she married a French woman in 2008. She came out about a month later at a protest against Proposition 8. Mm. And they have two children who are twins. Nice. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> all right. Tip of the week. Tip of the Take it week. Away. Tip of the week. All right. Well, I'm going to start by actually, it all it all connects. It all connects. Okay, oh, look good. at the connecting. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, so we have an event coming up in March. And uh, it's called the We Will Walk You event. And that's an acronym for Random Acts of WikiTree Kindness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we have uh, solicited nominations. Um, People solicited that, nominations through, through yes through through a g2g post G2G. of um who the community thinks are um you know your regular regular wiki treers who would deserve you know the 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 kind of wiki tree challenge treatment um so you know, that we, is so fun that's yes. cool that's, yes. that's a great idea. And at the same time that we were soliciting nominations, we were also recruiting rockers, as we're Ooh, calling them. Nice. And so rockers are the volunteer wiki treers who are going to work on the lines for a whole month mm. of these five people who have been randomly selected. Okay. I know who they are, <gasps> and I can't tell you. until you can't. Then, I can't or tell we you. Would have to, oh. We would have to tell you. Yeah. Oh so that is the motivation to so the five people have been selected yes yes do they know they've been they selected? don't even know yet no Ooh. i have the communication is it too late to sign up to be a rocker to help out no si sign up uh okay. yeah there, there's a g2g post um so we can still take more rockers that would be great 
Um, so what I'm going to, the tip of the week is actually, now mm. that I'm done with that little public service announcement, well, I'm is, glad you did. Is, <laughs> is how to post wiki tree things on your social media. Um, because yeah. we all we all do, you know, these cool challenges, whether it's for it's a, you know a thon or a week long challenge. Or <laughs> oh boy, Max! <laughs> <laughs> and we we want to share that out with our friends and family, um, and it's it's really easy to do. So can everybody see everybody? Okay, great. You can see my screen mm -hmm. and. I'm on, I'm on the free space page for We Will Rock You. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the images and there is the graphic that I want to use. Now I noticed last time I did this, um, you didn't see everything I saw. I'll describe what I'm doing. If you have a PC, you could right click. Um, if you have a Mac, you can do- Wait, 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 Betsy, do you go back and watch these after we do them? Well, I watched- yeah, I watched last week because remember I left early. That's right. So I wanted to. Gotcha. We told you to come back and watch the we rest. Did. We and did. Yeah, I did. And there right. was some very wow. good stuff. So, and in the process of that, I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to, uh, because I'm on a Mac, I'm going to control click <laughs> and I'm going to save image as. I'm going to save it into a folder on my desktop. Um, and now I'm going to go to mm -hmm. Facebook. Yeah, because all those extra pop-ups don't show when you're sharing a screen. Just yeah. Like yeah. Why? That's What's she true. talking about? She's doing that on her computer, but those extra pop-ups, they don't, they don't get ca caught by the screen capturing software. For Close some reason. the chat, man. Giving off all my secrets. We're in, we're what? seeing your Facebook oh, I'm page. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, no, I mean, it, I did. I did close it, and it popped up again. Oh, I hate when it does. It. Facebook does do that I sometimes. I, I thought of that, Megs, and I did shut. I did close it down. It's, oh, well, we didn't say anything bad there, did we? We, we did. No, not. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. What's on your mind, Betsy? Okay. So I have pre-written my, my, what I'm saying. I'm describing to everybody what this is all about. And then I'm going to go to photo or video. Um, and then I'm going to select it. And post oh, it. Another pump up. There it is. Nice. Um, now, what I just did is um, is just a the tip of the iceberg compared to what Azure did does in an eighteen minute video. Azure's um, amazing. Which, yes, she she really is. I actually messaged her a question on Discord this morning uh, last night, and I said as an aside. By the way, I just looked at your profile, and when I grow up on WikiTree, I want to be you. <laughs> <laughs> Real applause that's, there. Real that's applause. a great answer. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so Do I we have I, a link to that. Uh, yep, it, uh, is the there video is, is there is the link for Azure's video, um, in which she describes not just how to link to Facebook, but to Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Mastodon. I think those are the five. Um, she also talks about how to add in um, accessibility um, features Ooh. for visually impaired uh, um, members of your social media following. So um, really, really great stuff on her video. Uh, and great. I, yes. And so just to, to close, up so close this it. up, um, that don't forget that on the 15 for 15, uh, where is it? The so, oh, I have to go back two steps. Um, Mags is about to be talking about the social media team. So yeah. you can take any of these images uh -huh. 
Ah. And post them to your social media. Same so thing. there is a mission on the 15 for 15 list where it challenges us to share 15 question of the weeks on our social media. Mm -hmm. So now you know how to do that. Okay. That's good. And that is showing us the graphic for next week's question, yes. which is, right. do you have New Zealand ancestors or New, New Zealand connections? That is so cool. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is, that's fun. And, and it's a good thing to share Wikitree. Um, we'll go mm -hmm. straight on. Let me get my screen share up. Harder to do on your laptop than it is on the computer. Yes, it is. And it's asking me for a specific thing. There we go. Let's see if it'll let me scroll through. So uh, we showed Betty. Betsy showed that we could uh, have the the social media up, but for the week of Sunday, February nineteenth, from the social media page, uh, Freedmen Bureau Fridays coming up. Mm -hmm. Question of the week is: Are New Zealand are any uh, do you have any New Zealand family in your mm -hmm. tree? Uh, one name study Tuesday, uh, one place study Wednesday, project showcase. Don't know what project that is yet, but that's on Thursday. Uh, let's see. Connection finder coming up Friday, Friday night, date night. And uh, meet our me members will be up on Saturday. And of course the live cast, be yeah. sure to like us and, um, vote up the uh, live cast. Mm -hmm. Let me get over to G to G very quickly. So yeah, do you see that? We've got the Campbell DNA group project has come over to Wikitree. That's yeah. huge, hey. That's a big project. That was, that just showed up in my feed. Do you know a genealogical or historical society we should partner with, with Wikitree? Uh, mm -hmm. Will we see you at Roots Tech? I'm gonna pop this, pop this up. Um, and the picture he put up, I'm only half there, okay? If you look over to the far right there. I'm oh, there you are. I'm only, I'm only half there. Uh, so this is the crowd from uh, 2020, the last time we all got together. And oftentimes, it's not just mm. us in the pictures, but people from the conference who show up. We do mm. like a team picture, and sometimes we post the big picture of all the other people. So if you show up in orange at the uh, booth, we will take a picture of you. Uh, so most of the team will be there, Ao and Jamie, Alish, Brian, Julie, Mindy, and Chris. Uh, so if you've never met Chris Whitten, he's kind mm -hmm. of a fun guy to meet. Uh, you know, he really is a really nice guy. Yeah. Uh, a number of the project leaders, Mags, me, Peter Roberts, Greg Clark, Betsy Coe, Karen Lowe, yeah. and Jamie Evans. And he noted, he mentions in here that we'll be doing some fun stuff from the booth. So mm -hmm. we'll be doing some virtual stuff from the booth mm -hmm. uh, at a drop of a hat, probably Ooh. some of it. <laughs> uh, bingo is going to be going on constantly. And we're going to try and do this. This will be interesting. We're going to try and do a play by play call as commentators on a bingo. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Owen, Owen whips out that card. Now people, let's see if you can, Let's see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Oh, look and at her we're technique. Doing a live, we're doing a live cast Saturday from Roots Tax on March the 4th. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we will be doing it at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh -huh. So you're going to have to wrap your heads around how to figure mm -hmm. out how to get in there at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And we're going to try and do it from the booth if the audio is okay. Um, sometimes the audio is crazy in the convention hall because there's so many people. So that's the other thing we wanted to talk about because we will be seeing you from Roots Tech. But if it's you're at Roots Tech, come by the booth and say hi. Come and on. let's check out the great list that Awen has put together for us so you can see what's happening the week coming up. It's the week of the 17th to the 19th, of course, the weekend chat. Uh, we're here right now. Um, Azure Julie navigating recent changes to profiles. So Ooh. Azure, Aon, and Julie will be doing that. And then, of course, the roundup's coming up. And you can also check out the list on the social media page as well. Do you have something going on this week, Betsy? Uh, no, not this week. When, when is your next one? Uh, my next one, well, it's getting a little shifted because of Roots Tech. Mm -hmm. So it will be um, Sunday, March 5th, and then Thursday, March 9th will be the next Very new cool. member Zooms. Nice. Yeah. March 5th. 
March 5th, Greg and I will still be in the air. We're hoping to be in the air for a part of it. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. So that is your Wiki Tree Week in Review, the Wiki Tree mm -hmm. Roundup, the live cast for this Saturday. We appreciate you being here. And we really like the people who are watching us. Yay. After the fact yes, as well. Thanks for watching. Like afterwards. Betsy. Betsy. Betsy occasionally apparently watches us afterwards. I don't, but you know. Um, well, enjoy I at least it. make sure to go back and upvote the video so we get those upvotes. Yes. I, I have done that. I have done that. You know, yeah, got to do that. We'll see you guys next week. Same place, same time. Bye. 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 Have a great week, everyone. You, you too. I'm, I'm working on it, folks. <laughs> keep, keep waving. <laughs> Just keep on waving. There we Man, go. Hit the button. <laughs>